Sage and Tax Robust reporting capability provides real-time access to detailed tax reports. These customizable reports will help the accuracy monitor tax liabilities, refunds, and offer insight into your informed tax decisions. Next slide, please. Efficient tax management is crucial for com compliance, accuracy, and financial efficiency. Manual tax processing is time consuming and can be prone to errors and lead to potential penalties and financial losses. Sage Intact addresses these challenges with automatic, automated solutions that save time, reduce errors, provides real time visibility into your tax obligations. Next slide, please. Efficient tax management is crucial for. Uh, compliance, accuracy, and financial efficiency. It handles various tax scenarios, including sales tax and VAT, ensuring accuracy and compliance, automatic frees up valuable time for your finance team to focus on strategic activities. Next slide, please. Sage Intact offers multi-entity management for organizations with multi-entities. And they also will be able to have your tax solutions go back to different user setups where you could do it within Sage custom out of the box. You can use a software called Avalara, which also assists in sales tax. And then we also have pre-built UK, Australia, and South Africa VAT rates in the system as well. Next slide, please. Sage Intact integrates with leading third-party tax solutions, Avalara and Vertex. This integration enhances accuracy and keeps you up to date with the latest tax rates and rules and allowing you to automatically file and remit, streamlining your tax pro processes. Next slide, please. Sage Intact features multi-tax options where it can automate tax capture, flexible tax engine, and centralized reporting. Next slide, please. Sage Intact with the feature of multi-tax will give you transparency and accountability across all of the audit trails that you would need within SAGE. This feature simplifies the audit process and offers easy access to historical information. Next slide, please. Let's take a quick look into SAGE itself, and then we can look at setting up the customer rates for different customers. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're on the main screen of, of our company. And what I did keep up as well is the nice thing about Sage Intact is it's very versatile. So you could go to different areas within Sage and be able to get like help and everything like this. What I did prior is I did already set up the help. And so I wanted to give you an overview of if you are first walking into Sage Intact and you want to be able to set everything up, the nice thing that Sage Intact does also offer is the help option where we can actually go through and be like, oh, okay, I need to set up my tax overview. Like it actually breaks it down. Even if you were to use the external uh, program Avalara for Avatax, it'll also help you set that up as well. And of course, your business partner is there to step, walk through every step with you as you go through, but I did want to share this with you because this is something that is very useful for customers when they are able to say, oh, okay, I need to go to help and it actually gives you all of this information. So I wanted to share that as well. So let's first go into company, Oops, not company, I'm sorry. We're going to go into AR 
and we're going to go look at customers. So we're just going to take this very first customer and we would already have them set up. So what we can do is go down and we can see that we have all of the information on the first tab, which is, of course, the customer information. But the nice thing about the tax module is that if you go into additional information, there's a section to ta calculate tax. So we can say this is not a taxable client or this is a taxable uh, customer. It all depends upon if they actually are, if they're non, they're exempt. And then the nice thing is it'll let you set the tax group. So we already had this set up where it was the Maryland, uh, the Massachusetts sales tax set up. So we can say, okay, this is the tax group that they're a part of. And then you would save it. And then the nice thing is when you generate anything, when you go through, we can look and look at all the information and go to the additional tab and we can see this is a taxable client customer and this is the tax group that they're using. And if you like anything else within Sage, you go to the hyperlink, it brings you to the name and then we can go down the rabbit hole of hyperlinks and it'll tell you these are the entities that it's actually set up for. And then it actually tells you these are the different uh, scheduled maps and then the tax detail as well. So you can see that we have Massachusetts set up and Indiana set up um, at the different percents that they are at. So, and then the nice thing about this is if, because we all know that sometimes sales tax does change, you can always edit it. I went a little too far and rename things and say somebody has a different one we can also turn to VAT on as well so save oh, cancel because cancel, we're not going to do that so we're done here and the nice functionality as well is it also translates over to accounts payable so if you have a client that you know is going to be charging you tax you could come in here so i started playing with lenovo so we'll go into lenovo and what it does is it has all of the information in here like it does on the customer side where the first page is always the information for the vendor and then the additional tab is also the same concept where we can say hey this is the client that always tax us and this is the group that we have them a part of I've just been defaulting to sale to Massachusetts sales tax because I know it off the top of my head. And then we can save it. And then that would be set up when we go to view. We can actually go in and see that this one is taxable. And this is where it actually uh, the sales tax would be. This will allow us to start when we're entering order entry we can look at the customers in here so this is the one that we did set up so we can see when we come over here it also translates over to order entry so all of the information that you put in within any customer or any ap vendor it'll always translate over to no matter which module you go to so that client or that customer is actually showing up as a taxable a taxable where is there we go taxable client and this allows us to automate the process of being able to create an invoice for them and it auto tax auto creates the tax for us and then the when i go to the advanced tax so there's different modules within sage that will we can do the advanced tax or the ava tax and it just gives us different options of being able to have this function. The Avatax will actually be an add-on within Sage, so it doesn't come out of the box. However, it allows you to automate the process of it, and it goes through all of the steps, and it gives you a nice little checklist for Avatax, and it does the same thing. So the advanced tax is actually the out-of-box from Sage. So this is something that they offer. And then of course, they always give us the checklist so we can actually verify everything, make sure everything's set up correctly. And it actually goes through the steps of like how to actually set it up. So this is very useful for when you have a new customer and say there's a new state, you have to set them up and do 
the tax for that actual county or the city that they live in, depending on how they are. And that's just a little overview of how to set up your clients as taxable. So that way, you know that we can get everything automated for you. And I'm going to go back to the slide, the slides. Thank you for staying with us. And that was a quick overview of setting up the tax for everybody. So Sage and Tact offers a powerful solution that manages your tax process efficiently. It automatically calculates, provides real-time reporting, and ensures compliance across everything. And I wanted to let you know if you enjoyed this webinar, please sign up for future webinars that are on this screen. We have, we also do um, the SDMO, so the Sage, Sage Distribution and Manufacturing, as well as Sage Intact webinars. So these are the next two that we have coming up, or next two months, I'm sorry, next two months. Next slide, please. As always, I want to thank you for joining us today and exploring the tax management with Sage Intact. We hope that this excites you to unlock new insights and drive your business forward. If you'd like to learn more um, and get a, a schedule a personalized demo, please contact our amazing customer success manager, Jessica, at the number below or number listed, or you can click on the link that's in this PowerPoint that we'll send out. And as always, please go to our website and you can sign up for the webinars. And also we have tips and tricks in our past webinars on the website. So you can peruse through there and see if there's anything that's helpful for you. I wanna thank everybody for staying with us today and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.